Okay, it's uh, it's me again. Uh, in my last video, I showed you how to pull this uh, cylinder lock out of the BMW side case. I think the procedure is pretty much the same for uh, the gas cap, the ignition, top case, side cases uh, for all the late model BMW motorcycles. As I mentioned before, this one came out of a uh, 2012 K1600 GTL. So this is uh, the cylinder out and what I'd like to show today is um, a couple of differences between this cylinder and some of the ones that you've seen on other YouTube videos. This one is actually a factory uh, keyed uh, key to like coming directly from the factory. So basically what BMW has done is they've, they've keyed for the K1600 uh, similar bikes, the uh, R1200 RT, all the ones that come factory with hard cases uh, from the factory, they've, all, they've already gone ahead and keyed them uh, to be the same as the ignition key. And um, one of the reasons, one of the ways you can tell that once you get the key out is, you know, as mentioned before, this is the locking tab. Uh, in in a replacement or a repair cylinder, these these uh, leaves, these tumblers inside the lock themselves are free will freely come out. But in a factory keyed system, these these tabs, these tumblers will not come out. They're they're permanently attached in there. In a, in a minute, I'll show you why that is. So this one actually, if you look at it very closely, you'll see that it's missing a leaf and uh, the reason it's missing a leaf is because I'm going to show you how to reuse and rekey these with the existing number of uh, leaves that they, that they come with which to me was kind of important I mean you can go and buy these things for about 35 or 40 dollars a piece and go ahead and key it yourself but what I wanted to do was to go ahead and reuse these key them to the to the bike that I'm putting it on and uh, basically taking a set of bags from one bike to transferring to the other without going out and buying a new set of locks. So one of the things that you'll notice is that again these leaves are locked in place and I'll show you why they're locked in place. I'll put this one aside. Actually this one is already this one's already rekeyed for the new bike. Uh, this is one side of the one side case and I'll show you the, the, the cylinder from the other side case. So this is the cylinder from the other side case. And uh, in this situation, I've, I've gone ahead and taken off the face plate, okay? It takes a little bit of work. You have to basically use a screwdriver. Uh, I use this screwdriver right here. It's a kind of a sacrificial screwdriver. Uh, drove it down inside here, tapped it down with a hammer with a, to, to gain enough uh, clearance to go ahead and pry this off and take this face plate off the cylinder lock okay and you'll notice that once you get that off you have these this key gate uh, in there with a couple of springs and if I go ahead and take those out oops that's what I didn't want to happen is these little guys they like to jump around so one thing to be careful about is try not to lose your springs so this is the little gate and this time I'm going to put my finger on this guy. I'll have to go back and find that other spring in a second. So now I take this one out a little more carefully with the spring. Put that down so I don't lose it. And now you'll see there's actually a pin. There's actually a pin right in this area right here. And that pin locks all of these guys in there. And the reason I think that that pin is in there is that I think BMW wants to sell more re replacement locks so you can't just go and change luggage from one bike to another they want you to go and buy this thing for 35 or 40 dollars you know i'm sure it's uh, their, their spare parts business is probably the most profitable part of their business so anyway in order to get that out uh sit it down and get a little gentle tap okay and you can see it kind of kind of just falls right out okay now once that, that, that guy falls out, uh, all of these tumblers now are, are free to move around. So I think that's enough for this video. I don't want to make these videos too long for you, but I wanted to show you the difference between a cylinder that was designed to be a replacement cylinder or a cylinder that you, that you would buy for a brand new bag versus one that is a factory keyed uh, cylinder. 
and that's the difference it has that little locking pin in there to keep these tumblers in place and again I think the reason is that BMW wants to go and buy a, uh, a brand new lock set uh, and put a little profit in their in their corporate dollars uh, so the next video I'll show how to take this lock and rekey it to fit your uh, to fit your specific uh, ignition key